Hello, my name is Charlene. I come from Kenya. And how did I come here? I came here because one day I was in school. I remember my mom called me and then she was like, oh, my pastor just told me something about you. He said he saw you on a plane coming. And this is exciting news, as you know. But then we hadn't exactly planned for it at that time. And it came and like, oh, OK, that's really nice. And then it happened that I came like sooner than we had expected. There was like favor everywhere. And then I came so fast. So I remember that time I came. I met this pastor of hers that she was talking about, and she came to introduce me to him. And the first thing he did was like, oh, it's nice to see you, and he hugged me. Oh my God, I have never felt so nice, because I, I didn't meet, I, I didn't know him. He saw me even before I had come. And then this is my first time meeting him, and he hugs me. So I felt really nice, I'm like, oh, I love this man already. And then I loved the worship as well. Oh my God, I have never worshiped like the way I worship in this place. It's, it's just a new kind of feel to it. There's, it's true, it's from the heart you feel like you're connecting to God, if you know what I mean. So yeah, um, time passed by and I kept on learning wisdom from wisdom, normal stuff that people talk about, the way I speak to my friends. Um, you know, like you have a conversation with your friend, uh, but this time it's with the past and you don't even feel it, but there is so much wisdom coming from it, things that you thought normal and then he gives a totally different look on it and you're like, oh my God, I would have never thought of it like that. So yeah, every single day I can promise you that I get new and new wisdom. And again, so um, one day, yes, I remember we were having service and then he called me and he was like, I see that you're in love with someone. And then this was a shocker, obviously, because it was in front of everyone and it's one of those things you want to hide. But obviously, God had showed it to him. And then I was like, oh my God, don't say it, don't say it. But yeah, he said he saw that I was in love, which is normal. I mean, it happens to anyone. But then he said that this guy was going to use me and that it was better for me to stop it now. And obviously, at that moment, it's a bit painful to think like, oh, I thought that this was real and I need to stop it now. But then um, with time, I realized that so many things could have happened to me. I could have gotten pregnant. I could have probably not continued my schooling or anything. But he was there, like he saw this, and he decided, you know what, I'm going to tell her and save her from these things that can happen to her. And it, it felt really good that someone cared about me and was able to save me from all the things that could happen. And right now I can focus on more important things. I can continue with my education. I can be the successful person he has seen me to become. And I'm forever grateful for this. So um, whoever you are outside there who's listening to me right now, mine is just, maybe it's not as big as someone might think, and you have bigger problems. I can assure you that this man is someone you can speak to. And I know I've been saying this man, so let me tell you who he is. His name is Pastor Abiyam Danso. He is, he is a man, and he is more than a man, to be honest. He has been a father to me, and I call him daddy because um, he has advised me on so many things, and now I can look at life in a different light. And I want to invite you to come to my house. Um, the house that I have found solution in. It's called God Solution Center. And it is under the able leadership of the Holy Spirit and the assistance of my father, Pastor Abiyam Danso. And every time I walk, um, I always have like this band around my wrist. It's written, my ye ye boom, which roughly translates to I am blessed beyond measure. It comes in life when we obviously get discouraged, things happen. But when you have a constant reminder of what's inside you, you can look at life more positively. So every time I remind myself that I am blessed beyond measure, I have more strength to carry on. So I invite you to come and be a part of this great family because it's a family. There's so many young people like me and we have, um, we just have interaction, you know. So I will hope to see you very soon and hope you're blessed. Thank you. Bye.